You guys talking about two KOs, and yes, obviously there has been some news coming through today. Well, Filip Hergovic apparently wants to fight Joseph Parker on the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou on the card on March 8th in Saudi Arabia. And I think it's a really interesting and fascinating matchup, to be honest with you. Um, is it a fight I like to see? I think it makes sense, as obviously um, AJ is fighting Ngannou. And, you, you know, it's looking possible we're going to see Wilder versus Yang. So I think Parker and Hergovic make sense, in my opinion. And I think it's a good fight, uh, to be honest with you, star-wise. I do. Um, I think it's... I, I feel like both guys will be able to cause each other problems. And, you know, it's certainly what I want to see. And it'll be a good addition to the AJ and Garnu card. But how does this one go? I'm going to get my early prediction and breakdown for this fight now. Um, so obviously, I think I think it might be difficult for Wilder to knock Hergovic out. Hergovic, I mean, he does get hit a lot. Philip Hergovic, he gets hit a lot. I don't fully rate his defense, uh, to be honest with you. You know, like he does have some good defensive moments. He at times, you know, he does block shots really, really well. To be fair to him, but I feel like the big thing that I rate about Hergovic is his chin and his pressure. Uh, and I feel like, you know, obviously, Hergovic showed a great chin, especially in that Zhang fight. We saw how much massive shots Hergovic took in that fight. And, you know, like, Zhang was able to knock Joe Joyce out cold, and he couldn't get Hergovic out of there. So, and people were saying that Joe Joyce is the best chin in heavyweight boxing. Hergovic has clearly got a really, really, really underrated chin, in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I, I think you need to give him that. And also, if you look at Philip Hergovic... He pressures really, really well. He does pressure well. He cuts off the rim well. And, you know, he is actually kind of quite quick with, quick with his hands, does pick his combos, does, does pick his combos together well, and does pick his shots well. Um, and, you know, obviously, Joseph Parker, when he fought uh, Joe Joyce, Joe Joyce is a fighter who's a pressure fighter who's known at, you know, cutting off the ring well when he's willing to take a load to give some. And Hergovic, in that uh, perspective, is similar to Joe Joyce. Um, but Parker is different. Parker is different to what he was in that fight. He was boxing really well, especially in that Wilder fight, and even was engaging with Wilder at some point when he was putting the pressure on him and absolutely destroying Wilder with some massive shots. And Parker's got a good chin himself as well, actually. So, you know, Parker, I don't think, will be afraid to stand in the uh, stand in the pocket with Filip Hergovic. But I do think uh, Parker will mostly look to box um, around Filip Hergovic, to be fair. Parker's going to be using that jab a lot. Um, and I feel like Parker, I feel like, you know, that uh, the jab in this fight will be Joseph Parker's main weapon. And I feel like... A lot of times in this, I feel like Hergovic might struggle to get into range quite a bit. I feel like, you know, Parker's, you know, footwork's definitely a lot better than Hergovic. I don't really rate Hergovic's footwork too much. Uh, Parker will be quicker on his feet. I think, you know, Parker's going to be really quick with the jab. In and out of there, getting his work done well. Then he's then I do think Parker will possibly get some moments where, uh, you know, he is going in and backing Hergovic up a bit. But... Hergovic will get success in this fight as well. Uh, I feel like, you know, sometimes when uh, Parker does go in and want to possibly, you know, get some big shots going on the inside, Hergovic is happily going to be able to swim back and land. Hergovic is quite a good and accurate puncher, to be honest with you. So Hergovic will get success and could possibly hurt Joseph Parker. And if Hergovic can get his way and, you know, cut off the rim well, then it'll be interesting. But I do think it'll be harder for Hergovic to cut off the ring than what it was than what Joe Joyce was able to do because I think Parker's a completely different fighter and I think you know in that Wilder fight and his fights in 2023 all showed that Joseph Parker's got you know much better and improved uh, ring IQ. I, I I think that loss for Joseph Parker against Joe Joyce is the best thing that could have happened to Joseph Parker in my opinion. I think he's a miles better fighter now to what he was. Um, and yeah, like he, he's getting good to watch, to be honest with you. He is. Um, but yeah, uh, both guys, I think, will target the body coming in. I feel like, you know, um, it, I mean, you know, I, I feel like a big thing is, though, is will, you know, Parker be able to keep 
Hergovic off him though, uh, from getting on the inside. But you know, Parker has got a really strong jab though, which I do think if he, uh, which I think if Parker can really get a rhythm going with his jab, he can really put Hergovic off guard and you know make Hergovic think, what's he gonna do here? Uh, you know, Parker definitely, you know, he 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 thinks a lot better than Hergovic. He's definitely got better ring IQ, uh, and I think uh, Parker's more clever with the work he does. Um, and also, I do think Hergovic gets ridiculously sloppy, especially when it goes late. Hergovic does get sloppy. But, you know, Hergovic's power is always still there, though. It is. Um, but he does get sloppy, Hergovic, and he does tie around. Uh, and, I, and I feel like that's something which will definitely benefit Joseph Parker here. Uh, you know, I never have always fully rated the engine of Parker. It's improved a lot recently, though. But never fully rated the engine of him. But I, 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 I think it's. De- I think his engine is definitely better than Hergovic is. Uh, the park is definitely a lot less sloppy than Hergovic is. And when Hergovic does get sloppy, especially when the fight goes late, I think Parker will uh, be able to, you know, go out there, put the pressure on Hergovic, and pick up the later rounds. But uh, because, because yeah, like, I, and then I think as it goes later. Um, you know, I think that's when Park is going to be really wanting to pressure Hergovic and then really take the fight to him as it goes late. I think Hergovic, um, I, I think Parker might want to start off a little bit cautious at the start, just get behind the jab a bit for those like first uh four or five rounds or something, and then Parker will start to up the pace as it goes because he will start to see Hergovic starting to tie around. But, like, you never know, Hergovic could catch it. But, I, I don't know. I, I I do think it's an interesting fight. But my prediction is is that uh, Joseph Parker does outbox Hergovic to a unanimous decision. I I honestly rate Hergovic's chin a lot. And I feel like he'll be able to take a lot of big shots from Joseph Parker in this fight. And I think he will do in the later rounds. But he'll manage to stay up. And Hergovic will also, you know, fire back a bit as well. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, it is a fight where Parker does need to be smart. But he can definitely take more risks than he did in the Wilder fight. But let's be real, though. Parker did take a lot of risks in that Deontay Wilder fight, though. But, um, but yeah, I, 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 I think it's a good fight for Joseph Parker. I think he'll be... And, yeah, I, I, I end up seeing Joseph Parker winning a fairly comfortable, unanimous decision. You know, he's able to work angles really well as well now, Joseph Parker. And... Yeah, I'm not sure if Hergovic will be able to really keep up with the pace that Park is going to want to go at at times. But yeah, Hergovic can win this fight. There's definitely ways. But no, I've I, I, I got Joseph Parker winning a unanimous decision. But it's certainly an interesting fight. And I hope it happens on March 8th. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.